We join you here at the Grell Hall Stevens Netball Complex and we tell you that it's now Sunday night. Sunday night. So Saturday night we had the semi finals, it's now Sunday night. And we were supposed to be having the third place matchup at this point with the Dynasty putting in yet another one. It would have been the Eagles versus the Dominicanas, but none of those two teams showed up apparently for that big battle as Dynasty sinks two more. So they are ahead in this grand finals. It is indeed the grand finals. And uh, we are in the first quarter, 5.54 on the clock, 9 to 5. Dynasty leading at the moment. CG and CG with the ball. It's Bujo. Passes off now. Bounce passes. He's going to turn. He doesn't sink it. Goes up with the rebound. Misses the shot. Back with the Dynasty. Dynasty in purple. And uh, they are playing good ball. Played well last night to get into the finals. It was a close game. But they got in. And now they've started well. They're passing the ball nicely around. Here's the shot. He falls over as he hits the ring. No good. So he has two shots from the free throw line, Gasano Barry. Here's shot number one. Off the ring, no good. So it's nine to five. Dynasty leading in the early exchanges here. Off the ring, no good. Back now with Buju for the CJ and CJ. Long pass, nicely intercepted. Well worked there by Dynasty. Running down the court now, but weaves his way through. Six to. That's brilliant. Dynasty making waves here tonight. The CJ and CJ team just looking a little lethargic for the moment. That's a steal. That's a steal. He was a little bit laid back. Sinks to more. Dynasty really making waves. CG and CG looking a bit careless now. Not just lethargic, but careless. And Dynasty coming out to play. They're serious. Bujo now with the shot. Off the ring, no good. Gets the rebound. He's tall. And he's working the magic down there. That's a poor pass, though. And now CJ and CJ with the ball, pass it off nicely. He doesn't control, he goes out. So, CJ and CJ, a little lackluster for the moment. Dynasty putting on the heat. Bounce passes, he's gonna, well, he got in the way, takes it away. CJ and CJ with the shot, goes up, doesn't sink it. May have drawn the foul though. So it's 13 to 5. Dynasty leading. Here's the shot from the preacher line misses. CG and CG. They, they don't have a lot of crowd support either. Dynasty seem to have walked with their fan base. You can hear the shouts when they score. Up court now, up town he goes, he goes up, lays it up, misses the shot. So it's gonna be CG and CG. Sorry, it's Dynasty with the pass. Barry Axon point, he makes the shot off the ring, no good. Taken by CG and CG, passes off now, number five. Passes, he doesn't collect, he's taken away by Dan Nasty. Dan Nasty really dominating the first quarter here. Ooh, he goes up and six to that was Gasano Barry. Good pass, good finish. And so now it's CG and CG really behind 15 to 5. And they've been a champion team, um, Cotton Ground and also Church Ground. Now it's a combined team. They're in the finals, we expect a bit of fight. That's a big one. And there's no loud cheer, but that's deserving of a loud cheer. Charlie sinking what looks like a free. So it's eight to 15. 
CJ and CD making a fight back. That's a poor pass. He really knows that he has done badly on that occasion. Apologizes. <coughs> so he's back with CJ and CD. Uh, they're making a comeback now. After that three pointer by Charlie. 15 to 8. Passes off. Now Charlie will try for the long haul once more. This time he goes off the ring. A poor pass, but he. Oh, steal. Taken away. Two more. So Charlie sinking two more. Suddenly now the Dynasty making a couple of errors. So 15 to 10. They're only leading by five now. Sasano Barry trying to weave his way through. And uh, he's appealing to the referee. He's going to be a throwing. Yeah, he's thinking about the shot. Now he's weaving his way through. He goes up for the shot. He doesn't sink it. Hands go up. That's Bojo. Gets it now. He's pretty open. He goes up. He doesn't sink it. But gets the rebound though. Gets the rebound. And uh, now he's looking for some help. Now driving two. He goes up for the shot. That's a poor shot. Off the glass. No good. Now he's taken away. Good work. He's driving through once more. Oh. Well defended there. And the ball has been knocked out. So he's trying to try for the three again. He did it before. From right off there. This time it's Bojo. Passes off. He goes up and sinks to. So suddenly the dynasty has fallen asleep. 157 on the clock, 15 to 12. Dynasty suddenly now um, ending the quarter very badly. Now, can they finish well? He's looking above. Oh, he goes up for the shot, six to. So, putting in two more. 17 to 12. Five point lead again. And Bojo, fast paced game too. using his experience passes off now Charlie was thinking about the shot Bojo goes up for the shot off the ring no good take a nice it is making waves going down lots of speed he goes up and six rolls into so getting warm again the dynasty 19 to 12 seven point lead Charlie being heavily marked passes off now He's thinking about driving to the hoop. Doesn't that's a poor shot? Goes up and sinks two more. So uh, 19 to 14. We have a game on. Both team making some mistakes. Both team making making some good plays as well. Here goes. Dang, ah, taking the way. He's open. How does he handle this? He goes up and he sinks two more. So it's 19 to 15. Uh, four point lead now. Dynasty with the ball. 38 seconds on the clock. Make that 29. 20, 27 seconds, sorry. On the clock. 26, 25. So here goes. Dynasty with the ball. 20 seconds. 19 seconds. 18 seconds. He's rushing through. He makes the shot. It's no good. Taken away. Passes off now. He takes it up and he tries to go up one timer. And he does not. He was off balance too. So he's going to be back now with um, Dynasty. Dynasty. They have to shoot. Five seconds. He has to shoot, Barry. And that should be it. That should be it. But you chose it away. Well, it's 19 to 16. Good game. Good start to the quarter. Off the ring, no good. We're into the second quarter. That was careless work there by Barry. Well, well, well. Bit of a dog fight. Bit of a dog fight for ball control there. It's been awarded to the dynasty. 19 to 15. Use it as the call from the support crew for the dynasty team. Passes off. He's driving to the hoop. He 
hits it off the glass. Looks a little careless that shot, but it was a good shot. So 21 to 16. Charlie, for one moment I thought he was going to take the long shot. That's not a good shot. A little weak. So he's back now with the dynasty. Dynasty ballers, 21, 16 to CG and CG. Nice pass. He's going to take for the long haul off the glass. Gets the rebound too. Goes up for the shot and may have drawn the foul in the process. I think he has drawn the foul. And so the supporters are cheering. Referee. Oh, will full ball. Struggled to get in. And that ring refused to allow it to get in. Here goes once more. Again, he doesn't sink it. And it's going to be um, CG and CG with the ball. Here goes. Passes off now. Here he goes. Passes. He's Bojo is right open. Bojo sinks two more. So that's two more. Make that 18 to 21. Three point lead now. Dynasty looking for some help. Pass it off. He's going to try for the big one. He hits the ring. No good. Loses control. Charlie passes off. He's turning. He's driving to the hoop. He goes up. He hits the ring. He may have joined the foul. I think he has joined the foul. He has. <coughs> so the support crew for the Dynasty team, they're basically in this general area. Here goes. Fails to sink it. So, second shot. And uh, he flicks it in. So that's 19 to 21. Now he's down to a two point lead. Dynasty had a big lead earlier need to get back there now he put no he doesn't put it in Gasano gets the rebound Gasano hooks it doesn't get it still they get the rebound he's gonna try for another shot he's off balance he this time Bojo holds on to it so three bites at the cherry now nice pass he turns and uh, taken away by Gasano Barry Barry looks for the pass passes off now he's driving to the hoop he's blocked Nice block shot by Charlie. He goes up for the shot, doesn't sink it. And uh, the ball goes out. So it's back now with um, CG and CG. The red team. Here goes. Here's Charlie going for the long haul off the ring. No good. Yeah, missed there by the CG team. Taken away by by dynasty dynasty making waves he goes up and six to much to the appreciation of their supporters so back now with number 12 swings it across now to bojo bojo looking for some help passes off he's right under the hoop and hooks it in that was charlie he's busy tonight so 23 to 21 they're staying within was taken off him, stolen away there by CG and CG. Buju now will lose it. <laughs> oh, he regains control. The experience, Buju. But he was being pressured. He needs help. He gets the help. And uh, let's see what he does with that. Passes up. Charlie goes for the long haul. Off the ring. No good. Off the glass, actually. No, he's back with CG and CG. Sorry, he's back with Dynasty. Dynasty. Making waves, getting closer. He goes up for the shot. He's off the ring. And I think that he grabbed at the ball and probably hit Bojo in the process. So it's going to be CG's ball. So we have a timeout call by the Dynasty team. 23 to 21. Maybe saying, hey, we're getting a they're getting a little too close here. 
we need to rectify that. So, Bojo with the ball for CG and CG. 23 to 21, 628, 26, 19, 617 on the clock now. Here goes Bojo. Passes off. I can't remember seeing the rest of man making a shot as yet. Bojo turns. Doesn't sink it. So it's away now with Gasano. He's open. The rest of man is right inside there. And he would have attracted the foul. No, not necessarily. It's back with um, CG and CG. So let's see how he sets up this play now. Looking to pass. Bounce pass. It. Nice pass. Charlie under the ring. And oh, makes it good. Hooks it in off the glass. They seem to be arguing about who should have stopped that one. CG and CG. A bit of argument now because it's 23 all for the first time. The scores are even. And he's going to try for the shot. Is he? No. Yes. Tried to pass. He has lost it. Now, CG and CG with the ball. They have certainly come back in this game in a big way. They have come back in this game in a big, big way. Passes off now. Bojo is thinking about the shot and doesn't sink it. But uh, the rebound with CG. Bojo again with the shot and sinks two. So two more. For the first time, CG and CG goes ahead. It's 25 to 23. 5.04 on the clock. Now the Dynasty team a bit rattled here. They were leading comfortably. Now they have been... Scores have been tied up. Making waves, making waves, good waves too. Sinks too and may have drawn the foul in the process and I think the shot is good. So 25 to 23 and we'll go to the future line. So use it is the call from the support crew. That's a poor shot, as poor as they get. Very poor shot. goes passes off nicely so 23 to well 25 to 25 and it's a bit of a timeout here so both teams on 25 with 4 11 on the clock so the dynasty team is at the future line. Here he goes with the shot. Doesn't sink it. That shot looked a little rushed there. Maybe needs to just take his time. Place his blows. Let's see what happens now. He doesn't sink it, but gets a rebound. So maybe do bet. Ah, oh, taken off him. That was easily taken off him as he was about to shoot. He thought he had everything covered. Hits the ring, no good. So, conversations between players and um, referees. Hits the ring, no good. Still 25 all. Four minutes and one second on the clock. For half time, he sinks it on this occasion. Make that 26 to 25 for the CG and CG team. Leading by one. Sinks it 27 to 25. Leading by two. Dynasty now. Gonna try to keep this tight here. Good steal. Good, good, good work. Rastaman puts in two. That's good work between those two. 29 to 25, leading by four. Dynasty, no. They need to come back and come back quickly. Now he's moving nicely and oh, hits the ring. No good. Taken away. He's open. Is he? Is he in control? He sinks two more. And they're uh, making them fast and furious now. 31 to 25. Dynasty, no. They know they have to come back team in purple he's gonna try for the big shot no passes off good steal again good oh good interceptive work there by dynasty 
good work and he has lost it, my goodness. After all of that hard work, the man is open, passes off, he's gonna try for the big shot, he sinks it! The Rasta man makes three. That's 34 to 25. Dynasty a bit rattled now. The crowd, the support crew, gotta be quiet. Oh, here goes nice passes nice passes goes up for the shot he gets it passes back he's gonna think about the shot passes back he is looking for help he gets help number 14 and he has traveled with the ball 231 CG and CG they love it up there in the bench remember they were behind by a big way in the early stages of the first quarter and they've come back they're taking the lead 231 on the clock they know it with the ball and they're leading by they're leading by nine goals which is significant so here goes CJ and CJ with the ball, passes, the Rasta man is going to try for that long haul, it's the ring, no good, rebound taken by Dynasty, Dynasty now, they have to make waves, 2.17 on the clock, yeah, still open, still open, he's going to try for the big goal, no, he ends up as a pass, good work there by Dynasty, but not complete as he goes up, doesn't sink it, came off the ring, Dynasty back with the ball, Dynasty making waves, Dynasty with, oh, he doesn't shoot, he's going to shoot now, in, out, takes it, gets a rebound, he moves in nicely, doesn't sink it, back now with, he's open, is it too hard, he controls, he goes up, he hooks it in, busy, busy, busy player, the Rasta man, and so he's back now with Dynasty, 1.38 on the clock, Dynasty's a furious time right now, he's sink, no, he doesn't sink it, rebound taken, he's Rasta man again, what does he do with this, sinks two more, he's busy. The Rasta man is busy. He's making waves on the court here. Dynasty rattled. 120 on the clock. Dynasty rattled. Dynasty has to come back. Dynasty needs to come back. Here he goes. How does he deal with this? He goes up. Does he sink it? No. That's a win for ball. And on the rebound, he sinks it. The support crew trying to encourage them now. 38 to 27. Defend is the call. One minute on the clock. He's open, travel call. So, 57 seconds on the clock. So it has been a hectic second quarter. Leading up to halftime, very busy. Oh, that was poor. That was very poor. That was very poor, that's good work. Sink set, my goodness, the Rasta man. A little skip and a, oh, a little skip and a hop. He knows that he has done wonderfully well. And he has a little spring in his steps there. 41 to 27. He's going to try to replicate the fields, but gets the rebound. Dynasty goes up again and sinks it. Crowd gets back warm. Rasta man is open once more. How does he deal with this? He goes for the big one. It's short of the mark. And uh, it's 14 seconds on the clock. Now they have to get that down here quickly. Dynasty have to get down here quickly. 41 to 29. Nine seconds on the clock. He must shoot. He has to shoot. Seven seconds on the clock. He has to shoot. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. He goes up with the shot and sinks it. That's it. 41 to 31. Dynasty. Behind by 10 at the half. I think this is going to be a very decisive third quarter. 41 to, 20 to 31. CGN CG leading by 10. And this is uh, going to be a crucial quarter. Misses the first shot. Now it's back with the Dynasty team. Oh, good steal. He's very good at that. Very good at stealing. And uh, surprisingly, he's a, I think he's a police officer, but very good at stealing. Well, sunk two more, 43 to 31. And, uh, well, he was running away with it, but the whistle stopped him.
that's the oh that's a deliberate ball but it finally goes in on the rebound so 33 43 back to that 10 point lead and it's back now with CG and CG in the red passes over to the Rasta man who was very busy towards the end of the oh that's what's going on here the whistle went and it's gonna be dynasty's ball so back with the team in purple 43 to 33 that's barry goes up hits the ring no good and uh, taken away now by the cg and cg team he goes up and lays it in he has been very busy all of a sudden um, number 12. And uh, he already had set up that play. Barry was pretty much in place. But I think the ball came through a bit quicker than he anticipated. And so, oh, taken away. Good work. He's controlling, is he? Goes up. Not, not a good shot. So it's a bit of balance, and I think maybe he should have held it a little longer. Here's the Rasterman, that's in his way through, passes off to Charlie, who passes back. Well, that wasn't Charlie. Charlie is the one who touched it last, goes up for the shot, weak shot, taken in by Barry. Barry swivels, passes off now, and he's going downtown. And I think he has traveled, has he? Oh no, he has drawn the foul. So it's going to be a throwing for the Dynasty team. Here's the throwing, which is great. Number eight, looking for help. Bounce passes. He's trying to turn, trying to force his way through. And doubled up with the ball, so he has lost it. So it's going to be CG and CG's ball. Encouragement from the Dynasty supporters. 45 to 33. Crucial quarter this. Doesn't sink it. Made some fantastic waves through. But just didn't finish. Now he's back with Barry. Barry himself making some waves. Goes up and uh, blocked. And has drawn the foul, has he? He has drawn the foul. So he will go to the creature line. So here's the shot. First one from Barry. Sinks it. So normally it's one of two. Well, that's the general modus operandi. Let's see what transpires. He sinks too. No, he fails. So that's one. away he's open is he he's driving to the hoop takes his time off the glass two more 47 to 34 dynasty they have some catching up to do here nicely taken driving through goes up left-handed shot misses he's open but he throws it away can't keep it in he's quick but not quick enough So, back now with Dynasty, 7.06 on the clock, 47 to 34 in the third quarter, doesn't sink it, gets the rebound, the Rastaman, he's open, he's open, he goes up and misses the shot, gets the rebound, sinks it on the rebound, 49 to 34, Dynasty, they have to come back, can they come back from this? Oh, did too much. Lost it for the moment. But Barry covers up and gets the rebound. And he goes up and it's blocked. And uh, timeout call. It looks like Don is coming on. Don Foot. And it's going to be CG and CG's ball. Looking for some help. Nobody challenging him at this point. So, how he's going to go and deal with this? Passes off now. And uh, passes back. He's driving to the hoop. He goes up for the shot off the board. No good. Cassano Barrett passes off to number 14. He's making waves. He has drawn the foul, maybe. And off the glass. No good. But he has drawn the foul. 49 to 34. 
So here goes. Flick up the wrist. Doesn't sink in. They need every one of these dynasty if they're going to make a comeback. But there's still 6.08 on the clock and an entire quarter after this. Here he goes, flick of the wrist once more. He doesn't sink it, but Barry gets a rebound. Barry goes up and doesn't sink it, gets a rebound. Still Dynasty, loses it for the moment. Grab, grab, grab. Back with Dynasty off the glass, no good. May have drawn the foul, has he? No, it's going to be... Whose ball? It's Yes, has drawn the foul. So Dynasty will go back to the free throw line. So here he goes, number 14, Ames doesn't sink it there's an oh groan from the support crew in the pavilion so he has one more shot from that spot so let's see if he can sink one from two he doesn't and uh, throws it back in but to the benefit of the dynasty he fails to convert and uh, 45 to 34, there seems to be a sub substitution. Number 15 goes off. Back with the CGN CG. CGN CG with the ball. Passes over to Charlie. Charlie looking for help. Gets it way over. He's gonna try for the big haul. It's the ring. No good. Charlie gets the rebound. Passes back to number 12, the Rasta man. Back to Charlie. Taken nicely away there by the Dynasty team. And now looking to pass. Passes off now. There's um, Barry. Doesn't convert. Back with the red team. CJ and CJ. The Rasta man making waves. Goes up and loops it in. Very confidently indeed. Number 12 sinking it. And uh, back now with the Dynasty team. He's making waves. He takes a shot. He hits the ring. It's no good. Hands go up and the ball goes out. <laughs> Somebody is appealing the call. Bounce pass is now stolen away. Here goes. Number 12 making waves. Lays up another two. He's doing that with some energy. And he may have been out when he took that one. 53 to 34, 4.45 on the clock. Dynasty a bit rattled here. But um, CJ and CJ in control for the moment, but still some time left in this game. And referee Gasso making his point very plain here. He has set some rules down. And he says he's giving them a warning. Whatever they're doing wrong, he's not very happy about it, the ref. And uh, here's the number 12 laying up another two. He's doing this with some consistency here, some regularity. And they're into the 50s big time now. 55 to 34. Dynasty making waves. Lays up. No, he doesn't lay up two. And the ball goes out. 55 to 34. So the semi-finals more exciting than the finals so far. The finals started off excitingly. Tight game initially, but now once the CG and CG took over, there it doesn't sink here. Dynasty comes away. Dynasty open. Dynasty going up downtown and man goes flat. Tumbling over. Helped up by the ref. <coughs> so at the Fritcher line, Dynasty, number 14. There's the shot. Oh, he took a careful aim, but somehow went a bit too high. Hit the glass hard and it came back. So let's see what happens now. Flick of the wrist, hits the ring, no good. So apparently somebody moved early, Gasso says. And so it's another shot to the dynasty. So can he make one out of three? Here he goes, another chance. This time he goes flat, two flat, taken away, rebound, blocked, and uh, 
tries to keep it in fails so dynasty with the ball he's going to try for the long haul ends up to be a pass Cassandra Barry takes it hooks it in two more so he's open he swings in and sinks to so two more good response by CJ and CJ 57 to 36 Dynasty with the ball, Dynasty with the ball, trying to make some waves, passes now, good pass, oh he doesn't hold on to it, groan from the supporters, just going to hold on to it, so he's back now with CJ and CJ, gets that, taken away by Dynasty, Dynasty busy now, Dynasty busy, they know they're behind, they're hooking in two more, now their crowd wakes up, the crowd loves that. Is it too little, too late? 57 to 38. And we see another twist in this game. 3 2 on the clock and another quarter remaining. Yeah, goes driving to the hoop and doesn't sink it. Off the glass, no good. Back with Dynasty. Dynasty making waves now. Oh my goodness. Let's hope he's okay. His concrete is falling on. He's up quickly. Referee says, um, are you okay? He says he's okay. I guess they don't have the concussion thing in basketball. Or he might have had to get the concussion replacement. He's looking at his elbow. So he must have been bruised up pretty badly. Because it's concrete. That's serious concrete out there. That's serious concrete out there. But he gets the shot from the free throw line. Here goes in and out. That's a willful ball. After all that hurt, it deserved to go in. That ball didn't go in. Here goes now. Sinks it. At least he got in one. So it's 39 to 57. I think we still have a game on here. I think we still have a game on. But here's CJ and CJ. Making waves. He's going to maybe shoot from there. No. He has the space. Is he brave enough to shoot? He passes off and he loses it. And then away goes Dynasty. Dynasty controlling his latter moments of the third quarter. Sinks to. So Dynasty coming back here. 51. 57 to 41, Dynasty making waves. And it's back now with the CG and CG. Now CG and CG tries to pass off and it goes out. So there's the CG and CG with the pass. Oh, he's open. Well, he gets it back. CJ and CJ bounce passes, done passes. He goes up and sinks to. So make that 59, 59 to 41, 59 to 41. Dynasty with the ball. He goes for that long haul. That's off target. Poor shot on that occasion. Now it's back with CJ and CJ. CJ and CJ controlling. He goes up and fails because I think he was fouled in the process. So, and Jester comes on for the Dynasty team. At the Fritcher line, CJ and CJ up with the shot, flick of the wrist goes in. That's a lovely shot. shot doesn't sink it now it's away with the dynasty dynasty ballers with the ball Barry making a little skip and a hop there still in control still dribbling looking for some help gets the help is he gonna shoot he has the space he has the room he decides not to shoot and uh, looks as if he may have drawn the foul So at the future line, 
Here's um, Dynasty with the shot, sinks it. So that makes it 62 to 42. 60 to 42. And uh, Dynasty still trying to come back. 115 on the clock and a whole quarter remaining. Now it's with Dan, Dan Fudd. Looking to, well, he was caught. Uh, and so he passed it off. Is he going to shoot? He's trying to go to the hoop. He goes in. Sinks two more. That was good. And they were trying not to foul him in the process. 62 to 42. Now with Dynasty with the ball and no willful ball. Back now with um, CG C G and CG. Passes off. Now he goes up and stylishly sinks two more. A little bit of style in the process. Loves it. And now he's back with Dynasty. Dynasty may have drawn the foul. I think he has drawn the foul. So we're going to get two shots now. There's the two shots. So one is in. 64 to 43. 30 seconds on the frozen clock. Here goes the second shot. He doesn't sink it. But he gets a rebound. He could make a two here. He doesn't sink it. So he's back now. 25 seconds. 24 seconds. 23 seconds. And he goes up for the shot. I think he was blocked in the process. 19 seconds. Clock is stopped. So the warning comes up that it's only 19 seconds on the clock. They have to get the ball in. Dan knows he has to shoot or pass off. He, they have to get it to 11 seconds. 11 seconds. They can't get the space. Can't get the space. And uh, seven seconds on the clock. Dynasty. They are, uh, they are defending stoutly. He has to shoot the raster man. He goes up. He's blocked also. Four seconds on the clock. They can't get off a shot. Dynasty all over them here. And he has joined the foul though. And so the clock stops at four seconds. And he's going to get a shot from the free throw line. So let's see how he handles this. He goes up. Flick of the wrist. Hits the ring. No good. 64 to 43. There's a flick of the wrist. And... Uh, Fails to convert. So let's see if he can sing one from three. He sinks one. 65 to 43. Here's a shot. But the whistle goes. I think the whistle. He says it's good. He says it's good. I thought the whistle had gone. But he says the shot is good. What a shot to finish right on the button. 65 to 46. That was brilliant. Well, the action will continue. Number eight with the throwing gets it in now. And uh, Dynasty finished the last quarter. This is finished the third quarter with a bang. And he might have joined the foul. And is the shot good? I think the shot may be good. So that's 48 to 65 and has joined the foul. So there's the shot. He doesn't sink it, but he gets a rebound. He goes up and doesn't sink it either. Opportunity is going to miss him. That looks like Bojo back on court in the final quarter. No, nicely worked the uh, uh, grabs it. Referee says no, it's CG's ball. <coughs> so here goes. Danford gets it over to Bojo. Bojo is thinking about the shot. No, he has to pass. No, he waited too long. And taken away by Gasano Barry. Here goes. Passes off. Barry going down court very quickly. Barry passes off. He's right under the hoop. Sinks two more. And do we have a game here? 65 to 50. Dynasty still fighting. Still trying to get back in. No hold as poor. And taken by Dynasty. So Dynasty making waves. Tipped out by the restaurant. 
It was flying to the air. Oh, they're busy up there now. They're busy. They're noisy now. They know that this is the final quarter. Do or die situation here. Shouting the encouragement. <laughs> Here's a shot and hits the ring. No good, but he gets a rebound. So he's still with um, Dynasty. Dynasty looking to pass, is he? Oh, he's going to shoot. He's going to try for the long haul. Off the ring. Gets the rebound. Good. Uh, off the top of the glass. And it's going to be whose ball? I think he has drawn the foul. So it's 65 to 50. 8.41 on the clock. Substitution. He goes off at the free throw line. Here's a shot that's way off course. So he has another shot. That one was angled improperly. Same angle. Barry fights his way and loses it. And reaching foul, I believe. Trying to stop Danford, reaching foul in the process. Sixty-five to fifty. Gasana Barry rushing down court. Gasana Barry tries to go up for the shot. It's knocked away from him. He has joined the foul. Sixty-five to fifty. So sixty-five to fifty. Barry at the free throw line goes high. That's way off target. He was seeing another hoop somewhere. So Barry will need to settle his tension in the oval. And that's another oh, poor shot by Barry. Tanti Merle must be somewhere around. It's not only cricket that she goes to. Lots of tension in the oval. 65 to 50. And Barry has gone off after those two poor shots. Now it's back with um, CJ and CJ. He goes up and sinks to. So they've finally broken that 65 50 thingy. It's now 67 to 50. Back with Dynasty. Oh, almost lost it. And making some waves. He goes up. He doesn't sink it off the ring. No good. Gets a rebound. 6 2. So Dynasty getting two more. Back now with CG and CG. Danford almost lost it there. Doing too much, I thought. Passes off finally. The Rastaman says, okay, settle. I'm going to stop this thing. And so he seems to be. Pretty good player. And uh, what's happening there? Is that good? 67 to 52 is the score. 67 to 52. Dynasty with the ball. 732 on the clock. He drives to the hoop and sinks to. That was brilliant. And they were making sure that they didn't foul him. And so here goes. Seeing CJ and CJ with the ball. Trying to shake that man. Oh, lost it in the process. And it's back with the Rasta man. He's cool, he's cool. He says, I'm going to slow up this game. Now he's driving to the hoop. He passes off. The man goes up off the glass, fails to convert. Dynasty away. Dynasty going downtown. Dynasty. Oh, passes to the wrong man. Now he's back flying through. Passes off now. Danford loses it. Danford loses it. He's amazed. He says, no, after all that hard work, Danford, you don't throw it away, Danford. Now it's Dynasty with the ball. Going up tongue, he goes reeling through, doesn't convert, gets the rebound. And he says, it's CJ and CJ's ball. Busy, busy final quarter now, 67 to 54. So CJ and CJ, final stages of this game. Trying to hold on to that lead. Dynasty says no, we are not giving up as yet. 
Look at this, look at this. Finally passes off. Well, he's debating and he's debating that he has done the foul. Not very happy with that. So the crowd is into it. the sink set so make that 68 to 54 627 on the clock so here goes now one more shot can he make it good poor shot on that occasion so it's going to be dynasty's ball so Rolls it in, somebody's coming for the ball. He decides to make some waves, he lost it, but he's appealing that call as he tried to steal. So here goes, Dynasty with the ball. Is he gonna try for the big shot? Oh, good work. Good work there, and he throws it away. Too hard. He needed to relax a little bit. A little bit flustered, a little bit flustered here. A little bit of argument between the players. That's what pressure does, 68 to 54. Is he gonna try for the big one? Weaves his way in, that's a poor shot, it's weak. Gets a re rebound though. Passes to the wrong man after all of that. He too passes to the wrong man, but he goes up and sinks to. CJ and CJ goes into the 70s, a 70 to 54, 546 on the clock. He weaves his way through, throws it too hard. And so it's back now with CJ and CJ. He's open, he goes up, he passes off, he goes up, he's blocked, taken off him, that's brilliant. Now it's um, back with Dynasty, goes up for the shot. Not the best of shots, but the rebound is sunk. That's two more. He wheels it hard. He turns, he goes up for the shot. He doesn't sink it. He gets it back to Dynasty. So Dynasty with the ball. Dynasty going downtown, pass it off. He goes up, lays it in. That's two more. Oh, they love it up there. They love it up there in the stand. So it's... Well, the referee, well, he's not very happy with the call. Not very happy with the call. Seems as if we're going to have a timeout. We're going to have a timeout. Game getting heated here. 70 to 58, 5 2 on the clock. And you can see the meetings are very animated on both sides both sides having some serious meetings here off the ring hooks in two more 61 to 70 Nine points with 4.49 on the clock. CG, CG looking a little flustered here. Passes off. Game is in a rush now. Game is in a rush because it's the final moments here. Now Bojo, the experienced Bojo fails to convert. Dunford, the experienced Dunford gets it. Passes off now. He's still rushing through. He goes up. No, he doesn't shoot. Bujo shoots. Bujo sinks to the experienced Bujo. He says, look here, guys. We just need to settle and finish this thing. 72 to 60. 12 points lead. 4 or 12 on the clock. He goes for the scene now. That's a willful ball. And as he went for the rebound, he has joined the foul. Well, they're heated up here. They're right into this game. They're into this game, I tell you. At the Fritcher line, lots of chatter now. 
60 to 72. 12 point lead, 406 on the clock, which has been frozen. Dynasty at the Fritcher line. Here goes the shot, and he doesn't sink it. Tension in the oval. Tanti Mall must be somewhere at the fence line. One more shot. Lots of chatter on the court, off the court. This is what finals is all about. Here goes another shot. He doesn't sink it, but he gets a rebound. He, he lost it and then regained it, and then he hits the ring, and it's no good. They get the rebound, Dynasty. Oh, he has thrown it away, has he? It goes out. He didn't really make the effort to go after it. Maybe just too tired. The legs must be giving out now. It's um, 3.55 on the clock. 72 to 60. What a game. It has fluctuated. Fortunes have fluctuated all throughout. Now here goes. Wing it is the call. He goes straight. He goes up. He turns. He goes for the shot. He hooks it in. Much to the delight of the support for Dynasty. There's Bojo. And he takes it. And he's out. He says he's out. Oh, look at the chairs. Look at how the chair. He's not very happy. And uh, Gasol said he was out. If Gasol said it's out, it's out. Dynasty with the ball. Dynasty with the ball. Dynasty passes. Gets it and uh, trying to control. Passes and he's trying to control. Oh, they're defending stoutly now, CG. Dynasty goes in and sinks to. Well, they're jumping up here now. They're jumping up here now. And now they're saying defend, 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 defend. He grab, grab, grab. Grab, grab, grab. Lie down and grab. Dog fight. And here goes. CG comes away the ball. The rest of six two. Decisive two. Three or two on the clock. 74 to 64. Ah, well, uh, Dynasty trying to shoot. Hits the ring. No good. Uh, CG and CG comes away with it now. CG and CG. The rest man making waves. Going down uptown. And decides to slow it up a little bit. Here's the experience. Bojo passes to the wrong man. There was Bojo looking for somebody in red, passing to somebody in purple, and purple loses it as well. He was trying to bounce past, trying to be a little cheeky and a little too much style, and he lost it. Now trying to win back the ball. It's back with the Rastaman, number 12, with the ball. Passes off now to, to Dan. Dan says he's very experienced too. He said, let me stop this. Charlie's back on. He's also very experienced. I brought there most experienced guys on the court for the final moments of this game charlie turns he's gonna shoot no passes off he's gonna shoot he takes the big one sinks to decisive two 75 to 64 206 on the clock and maybe maybe the fat ladies um maybe not singing right now maybe weeping so so here goes, number eight. Two, zero, four on the clock, 76 to 64. Final moments of this game. By the look of things, you'd have to say that CG and CG will take this championship. Can Dynasty pull off something rather miraculous here? They're starting. If it's a miracle, he's starting now. No, that is a willful ball. In and out. Bojo passes. Back now. He's turning. He's passing. He's passing off to number nine. Number nine down. He's very experienced. He says, let's slow up this a bit. And I think they're deliberately slowing up this game. Look at the rest of man. Dan calls for it. Dan passes off to the experienced Bojo. It's all about experience. Bojo takes a shot. Off the ring, no good. And back with Dynasty. Dynasty going uptown. Downtown, sorry. There's um, Dynasty passes off onto the wrong man. Back to Charlie, the experienced Charlie. Now the Rasta man slows up a bit, but he's decided now that he's going to try to take the shot. He's making moves to the hoop and six to. That might be just the game. 78 to 64. Just a minute and 15 on the clock. And Dynasty would have to say that they did very well. They're celebrating already. CG and CG celebrating already. High fives all around. 
So, just a minute and 12 on the clock. And I think the Dynasty team may have given up here. May have given up, I'm not sure. But um, the foul has been drawn. Bojo is not very happy with the call. And he's gonna go off. He's gonna go off, but he's celebrating nonetheless, is Bojo. And there's a timeout call with just a minute and four seconds on the clock. One minute and four seconds on the clock. The score, 79 to 64. And by the look of things, the fat lady is singing loudly. She's a choir by herself. CG and CG will be indeed the 2022 champions of basketball and Nevis. Dynasty takes the shot. Make that 66. Clock has been stopped. Can he make it 67? He does. So 67 to 78. Now relaxes the call. I think they're going to slow it up deliberately. Nobody pressuring him as well. Somebody does now. He's going to drive to the hoop. He's going to drive to the hoop. He's going to miss. Gets the rebound. Taken off him though. Now it's 47 seconds on the clock. Gas and Barry tries for the shot. It's knocked out of his hand. <coughs> Sinks too because they were trying not to foul him. With 38 seconds on the clock. He's open, is he? He's looking for some help. He's trying to kill some time, I think. With just 33 seconds on the clock. 68 to 78. Here he goes. Dynasty still fighting with seconds on the clock. He goes up and off the ring, no good. Gets the rebound, does um, CJ and CJ. Danford is open. Nobody there to pressure him. He lays it up and lays it in. And they're into the 80s now. 80 to 68. Well, um, they, I think, have conceded. The, CG, the Dynasty team, I think they have conceded. Final count is in. Off the ring, no good. Congratulates the opponents with three seconds on the clock. And that's the game. Round of applause, CG and CG has won the 2022 basketball competition on Nevis. Okay, good evening once again and welcome to the closing ceremony of the Department of Sports NABA Spencer Brand Sponsored Basketball Tournament. It has been a competitive tournament. I myself witnessed a couple of matches and of course we saw the display of skills and talent that came out in the various matches that was played from night after night. Of course, on behalf of the Department of Sports, we do foster the collaboration with other entities. And of course, we would ask other entities come forward and sponsor basketball because it's a very interesting game and we all love it here on the island of Nevis. 
Before I go on, I would like to recognize the Honorable Eric Evelyn, former Minister of Sports. <laughs> Troy Youth and Lyburn, the Honorable Troy Youth and Lyburn, is now the present Minister of Sports. And the Honorable Spencer Brand, our sponsor. So before I go any further, I would like to ask the Honorable Spencer Brand, our sponsor, to give brief remarks. Would you welcome him? Thank you very much, Mr. Brian Dow, our Master of Ceremony for tonight. Let me also recognize my cabinet colleague, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, the Honorable Troy Youth and Library, also the Director of Youth and Sports, Mr. Jamia Claxton, and the members of the Nevis Amateur Basketball Association. And all the listeners and viewers, a very pleasant good evening to you. And our teams tonight. It is indeed a pleasure for me to participate in this closing ceremony of this competition. A few months ago, we stood right here in this complex, launching this competition. I am very happy to see that we have had a competition that was of a very high standard. I also am happy to see that we had some very good uh, sportsmanship. I'm also understanding that the officiating of these games was also of a very high standard. So I want to congratulate all who would have participated in this tournament for 2022. I am already, I am already looking forward to 2023. And I want to take this opportunity to encourage our young people, as I did when we launched this competition, to please use these facilities. These facilities, the Nevis Island administration would have expended significant sums of money here. And I'm happy to see that the Basketball Association and the Ministry of Youth and Sports have already ensured that they have had at least this basketball tournament here for 2022. So I want to congratulate the Basketball Association and the Ministry of Youth and Sports in responding to that call to use this facility. I did say then as well that I want our people to ensure that they take very good care of this facility. It is your facility and you must continue to take very good care of it. I want to congratulate the winners of this tournament, CG and the CG, for winning this tournament. I want to say congratulations to you. And I also want to say congratulations to our second place winners, Dynastic Ballers. Congratulations. I believe, I believe that your display of skill and talent was well received, and I certainly want to wish both teams and all of the teams in the competition the very best in the near future and in all of the rest competitions. So congratulations and may God bless. I want to, I want to use this opportunity to wish all of the players, all of the officials, all of the uh, members of the Ministry of Youth and Sports and all those who are listening and viewing a very Merry Christmas. I know we are coming up on Christmas. I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. I hope that you will have a Christ-filled Christmas, and we certainly look forward to seeing you back here in the new year. Thank you, good night, and God bless. Thank you, the Honorable Spencer Brand, for bringing brief remarks. As we continue with the program, we ask the Honorable Eric Evelyn to come and give brief remarks. Thank you very much, Mr. Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Dow. And let me also recognize my cabinet colleagues, the Honorable Spencer Brand, the Honorable Youthan Troy Lybird, the Director of Sports, Mr. Jamia Claxton, and of course the members of the Nevis Amateur Basketball Association and our teams. I am happy that I'm here. I was here at the start of the tournament and I'm happy that I'm here at the end of the tournament. And every time I enter this complex, my heart is full because 
when we see what was here a couple of months ago, and when we see what is here now, it is indeed pleasing for us in the Nevis Island administration that we would have had such a magnificent transformation. And the fact is that after this transformation, so after this magnificent transformation, we would have seen a netball tournament played here a couple of months ago, and now we saw the, we have seen the conclusion of a basketball tournament. It shows that our young sportsmen and sportswomen are utilizing the facility, which of course we want. We want when 2023 comes around that we see netball and basketball being played here more often. We, of course, when the tournament started, we said we were delighted that we were able to bring basketball back into the heart of the city. And I'm sure that the players who would have played here would have enjoyed the facility and it was indeed our pleasure to have it at your disposal. Thank you. Of course, I want to commend the Basketball Association. They've always been there, working hard, getting tournaments up and running. Of course, we know most of the tournaments have been hosted at church ground, but we were happy that at least this one was hosted here in Charleston. So congratulations and commendation to the, netball, the Basketball Association. Of course, I want to commend my colleague, Honorable Spencer Brand, for once again partnering with the Ministry of Sports to host this tournament. I want to also to commend the basketball teams because of course you cannot have a tournament unless the teams consent to play. And I want to say kudos to all of you who took part in the tournament. I know it was a hard fought tournament, but I want to say congratulations to the eventual winners and the second and third place winners as well. I want to say a special good night and I want to introduce you to the person who has overthrown me as the Minister of Sports, the Honorable Troy, Youth and Troy Liburd. He's now our new Minister of Sports. He's just a few hours as the Minister of Sports. And Minister, I want to say welcome. Welcome. And I invite you to just say even two words, please. Our ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our new Minister of Sports, my good friend and colleague, the Honorable Youth and Troy Liburd. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I want to recognize our newly minted Deputy Premier, <laughs> Honorable Eric Evelyn, and also Minister Spencer Brand, who is our sponsor, and of course, our Director of Sports and the good people from our Basketball Association, the teams and all of you who have come to support. As you would have heard, just about two or three hours ago, we got um, portfolios, and one of my portfolios is now the Ministry of Sports. And I know that over the previous five years, Minister Eric Evelyn would have done a remarkable job in sports. And it is my intention to continue doing um, a lot of things in sports, but of course, you know, I would come and I would have my own ideas. And I believe that based on the fact that my phone has already started going off with um, calls and text messages with people who have ideas, I believe that we're going to have a wonderful time. And of course, I'll be open to ideas. Basketball is something that I I like. I used to try to play a bit. Hopefully, if I could get back in shape, I could try a little thing. But I think my role would be more to, um, to lend a hand and to assist those who are more able to, to play. So I look forward to um, doing some good things in sports in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you. The new Minister of Sports, and now I'm going to turn it over back to Master of Ceremonies. Thank you, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, the Honorable Choi Liburn, for your brief remarks. As we move on with the program, we'll have the distribution of awards 
for most points, assist, steals, rebound, and block shots. So I'll call on Wanda. She will call the names of the persons for the various. Good night, everyone. We're going to start out with most points, with 107 points, average of 17.83. We have from the Dynasty Ballers, Nicolon Liburd. For most assists, we have 17, an average of 3.4 per game of CG and CG, Carvin Smith. With most steals, 25, an average of five. From CG and CG, Cheslin Hutton. Most rebound with 89, an average of 14.3 per game of Dynasty Baller Jamal Ford. Most block shots, 24, average of four, from Youth and Sports Eagles, Stevenson Providence. We would like to give a little token to our referees. So first we have Mr. Lewis Brown. We have Mr. Calvin Foy. No, sorry, Calvin Percival. We have Mr. Kevin Foy. <laughs> we have Mr. Dio Hendrickson. And we have Mr. Ryden Brown. Okay. 
Okay, at this point, we're going to call the second place team, the Dynasty Ballers, to collect your medals. And we have our winners, CG and CG. Okay, we're now going to do the MVP for finals. We have um, 29 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, 10 steal, 3 out of 6 free throw made, Two turnovers. Our MVP, we have Mr. Calbert Dua. And that trophy was sponsored by the Honorable Spencer Brand. Let us give Mr. Spencer Brand a round of applause. Now we have our official trophies. The second place, we have Dynasty Ballers, also sponsored by the Honorable Spencer Brand.
Let us give it up for Dynasty Ballers. <laughs> and now the champion for 2022 sponsored Honorable Spencer Brand, the CG and CG basketball team. We thank Wanda Parry, the treasurer of the Nevis Amateur Basketball Association, and Veronica, the vice president of the Nevis Basque Amateur Basketball Association, for distributing the medals and trophies. And now we come to the vote of thanks, and this will be given by the director of sports, Mr. Jamir Claxton. Pleasant good evening to all. Um, before I proceed with my soliloquy of gratitude, I want to join in congratulating the champions. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. I want to begin by thanking God Almighty for allowing us to have a very successful tournament. Uh, from our reports, I think we were injury free and we had some very good games. I also take this opportunity to thank the Honorable Spencer Brand for coming on board and partnering with the Department and Ministry of Sports in sponsoring this tournament. Through your con contribution, we were able to have a very successful tournament. To the Honorable Eric Evelyn, the former Minister of Sports, <laughs> I want to thank you for continuously supporting our endeavors over the years. Whenever we come to you with an idea, whether it's doing it through the department or partnering with other organizations, you've always supported us, so thank you. I want to thank the new Minister of Sports, the Honorable Charlie Lybert, for gracing us with his presence this evening. Um, you basically, hours after being appointed, you, you began the job, so thanks for coming. To the Nevis Basketball Association Executive, thank you guys for being such wonderful partners. It's through this collaboration, collaboration we're able to have another successful tournament. This tournament exemplifies what government and associations could do once we work together. To all the officials, without you, the games won't be possible. So thank you for playing your role. To the teams, fans, the media person, the entertainment, thank you. If I forgot anyone, blame it on the head, not the heart. Thank you. <laughs> This is... 